This tutorial is intended as a guide to set up and configure Galaxy processors using a real-world example. There are several chapters, each building upon the last. System notes that define the system inputs, routing, and outputs help with planning and setup. In this example, the mixing console is sending four AES digital audio signals for left, right, sub, and fill to the inputs of the master galaxy located at front of house. Five Galaxy 816 processors are used, one as a master, the others as satellites. The master galaxy will route the signals from the console outputs through the matrix to its outputs in logical groups for system control. In this example, the master device's output signals are subdivided into main hangs, side hangs, subs, infill, and front fill. These signals will be transported via the Ethernet AVB network to the satellite galaxy processor's inputs at the stage. The satellite processors further subdivide the signals in the matrix. One processor controls the main hang, flown subs, and infill. while the other handles the side hang, ground subs, and front fill. Because the stage left and stage right satellite processors control symmetrical portions of the loudspeaker system, their controls can be grouped so that changes to one side are applied to the other automatically. For the physical connections between the Galaxy processors, the Ethernet AVB network uses Avenue compliant, AVB capable network switches with the AVB license pack installed and enabled. The spanning tree protocol and edge protection options have also been enabled on these switches. Each Galaxy is connected to its local switch via gigabit-capable network cables. Two Ethernet cables are connected to each Galaxy. The Galaxy processors will choose the best connection. Connections between the switches can be made via fiber optic cables and matching fiber transceivers. In this example, the fiber transceivers are connected to LC cables, which are connected to ruggedized fiber via rack mount bulkhead connectors. The Galaxy processors are controlled with Compass software via an Ethernet connection. Some of these processors have firmware installed that is not compatible with this version of Compass. These warning messages indicate that it is valid to connect to these units with this software only for the purposes of upgrading the firmware. The client-server connection between the Compass computer and the Galaxy processors does not require setting IP addresses. The software uses IPv6 to connect to the processors. If the switches are properly configured and the cabling is correct, Compass will connect to the Galaxy processors immediately. IPv4 addresses are not used for Compass to Galaxy connections. If using a third-party controller that requires IPv4, Galaxy processors can be assigned IPv4 addresses. The next chapter will describe the steps to upload the version of firmware that matches the version of Compass being used.